I'm going to interview Chari Uncle in the show. Chari Uncle is a world traveler and welcome Chari Uncle. Thank you for the talk. Yeah. And I I have lots of presents for you. Okay. And let's start from the beginning. Okay. What are all the countries have you have this? I visited a lot of countries in Europe, so France, Germany, and then I went up north to Iceland and Norway. So Europe is easy to travel, so I've been to about 25 countries in Europe and uh, about 6-7 countries in Africa. In Asia, only India, Sri Lanka and Nepal. And uh, I've been to South America and uh, I've been to Antarctica as well. Then in your vintage photos, I saw you touching a lion and an elephant. Are they real animals? Yes, yes, they're really uh, big animals, and uh, of course they're not completely wild. They've been uh, brought in uh, reserves, and uh, so they're used to human contact. But not everyone can go touch them, so you have to be trained and. Uh, it's a part of a conservation effort for animals. So, animal orphans, which have been either wounded, so they are rescued and then released. And uh, if they come in touch with human contact, then you put them in a reserve. When they give birth to their cubs, the cubs will be released because these are used to human contact and will not fear humans. So, that is the objective. Okay. Now, where did you see elephant? Elephants I saw in South Africa, of course lots in India and Sri Lanka and uh, in Sri Lanka there is an orphanage called Kunavala but after the tsunami uh, a lot of elephants escaped and was destroyed and, uh, but mo most of the elephants were in Africa. Then lion? Lions are mainly in Zambia, a uh, few lions in South Africa. But all the wild ones were in Kenya and Tanzania. They have the largest parks in the world and you can see a lot of lions. What do you think that traveling is important for kids? Uh, travel is something that you will enjoy doing once you grow up. Uh, when you're young, it's very good for a learning. Right? And uh, when I was young, I used to travel by train a lot. So Chennai to Delhi. And uh, my relatives lived in Pandito, so I spent six years roaming all the forests in Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, around Pandito, seeing lots of animals. But more importantly, you'll enjoy nature, and uh, because it is something that inspires creativity. Today, every city looks the same, so you need to spend more time with nature, learn things that you want to do, and that is really helpful for you when you grow up. What other places do you think a child should travel? I think first is within a city and you know outer limits of the city. You go to school, you go to say music class or sports. So those are things that you need to enjoy as part of your life. You definitely need to go to a park, smell the flowers. You need to go to the beach if you have a beach with your parents. Because that's when you can see in a distance. Otherwise you'll never see more than one two kilometers. And definitely go to a zoo or any animal farm that is there in your city. I think those are three definite things you should visit. We have an animal farm, yeah. That's really good to know. Yeah. How much money does it take to travel for one country? How do you manage the funds? Okay. So the main thing that is expensive is your flight ticket. So if you're going to countries which are close, then it's cheaper flying. So if you know Nepal or Sri Lanka or Singapore, so those are cheaper to fly to. And uh, the farther you go, the airfare is expensive. So you have to plan so that you visit at least three or four countries because you're going so far. And that's how you plan. And uh, I think it's important to save a bit of money. And uh, it's the same with everyone. Instead of spending on buying a new car or buying a new phone, I just spend it on travel. Can you give any tips for kids to travel? Uh, first thing is, I think you should see the places I told you with your parents. So then you'll get comfortable with the environment. And uh, 
kids who are less than 12 years old though they are given lot of free admission so into museums right into parks into zoos so you should first visit with parents and then once you know the place after your 12 years old then you can start using public transport on your own nowadays very few kids use the public bus so i think it's important to start doing that once you learn from your parents and learn to pack your own bags your mother and father shouldn't be packing your bags so just like a school bag learn to pack your bags know what you want to eat and carry your own water bottles so those are tips on your packing for traveling from what age are you traveling uh when i was young i i used to travel with my parents a lot and uh, that was mostly within india and uh, so my first 15 20 years till i finished school was only about traveling in india for traveling outside india you need a passport so i got it only when i was older and uh, but last 6 7 years i visited close to over 40 countries oh what inspired you to travel i am into teaching so and i realized that travel is one thing that uh, actually makes me learn a lot of new things and i can pass it on to students but apart from that lot of students have hobbies so it could be painting i had painting as a hobby i learned music as a hobby and sports so i started combining events like sports events with travel wildlife with travel and uh, music with travel so once you combine things that you like you also start enjoying travel which country are you pl- planning to travel next uh, i love the mountains so i think i'll probably go back to nepal and uh, i also want to do tibet which is part of china so probably that will be the next area that i'll do when you travel to other countries do you follow their culture okay that's a good question uh, i think it's important for you to know the culture and like for example if you're going to a religious place you know that in temples uh, you know you have to leave your slippers outside so those are things that a foreigner should know when they come here and uh, you would have seen campaigns on television like aditi devo bhava you know like guest is like god and uh, it's the same for when you when you're traveling as well so you have to treat your host country like you know it's a really pure and lovely place you have to keep it clean so it's important to understand their culture give it respect and uh, you learn a lot of things from there so when you go to another country you understand why they do certain things the way they do and did you know that like in sweden or such places also you remove your slippers outside the house and uh, you go in so you don't wear your footwear inside the house so you learn a lot of new things so that is important to understand the culture do you collect things from the countries you have traveled yes uh, and no i i love to interact a lot with people so they give you something you can't say no so you take it back but uh, i don't carry too much luggage i believe in traveling very light i don't want a heavy school bag kind of a scenario but so i get postcards so i send it to students of mine or friends of mine and it's easy to carry and sometimes i wear a lot of animal t-shirts or you know penguins and places that i visit so i take fewer clothes because i know i'm going to buy t-shirts there and i wear them and i come back so that's the only thing i can pack how many days do you usually stay, stay in each country okay it's like i don't plan too much in advance so that if i like the place i spend a little more time but a rough estimate would be at least spend one week in a small country and spend at least two weeks in a big country so that you know if it's a place like chennai it will take you two three days to explore so if you're going to a country you visit three or four cities each city will be two three days so at least a week in a country makes a lot of sense so you understand every part of it because chennai is different from delhi chennai is different from pondicherry which is like you know just next door so i think those are things you need to plan in advance stay for three four days and then enjoy it as it comes so thank you for giving this lots of information to us so thank you for i uh, thank you for com- coming here and it's a great it's my pleasure thank you yeah. very much for having me i hope you get to travel a lot as well yeah thank you meeting you